So welcome to our channel, Engineering Talks. Today we are so grateful to have Arushi Dubey as our guest speaker. Uh, so Arushi is a 2023 pass out of Cummins College. She is an incoming software engineer at Intuit and has done internship uh, at uh, Intuit uh, in 2022. So let's start with our questions. How did you got to know about this opportunity? So mine was basically uh, a PPU offer after the internship and the internship uh, Intuit came for interviews on campus around I think September 2021. And yeah, so my I got an internship first on campus, and then from there I got a PPO. Okay, fine. How many rounds were there for the selection procedure? Mm. So all in all, there were about three rounds. So first we had a test. So the test was of 90 minutes in which you had to solve four questions, which were from about medium to hard difficulty. Uh, then after that, they would shortlist you for an interview which was of 30 minutes and in this also they'd ask you one coding question uh, medium to hard and you just have to solve that in 30 minutes then after that in the second interview it was 60 minutes so like there was a coding question but before that they were asking um, like basic theory about core cs subjects you know computer networks um OOP, operating systems basic dsa theory stuff like that then about your projects uh it was pretty simple and then after that they gave you like a hard coding question which you had to solve till the end of those 60 minutes okay so those questions were based on which data structure to be more specific hmm. so mainly they were around stacks trees uh queues graphs was not there dynamic programming was also not there but um, i would still suggest that just to be safe you do dynamic programming because it's actually a very important topic um, there were also questions around arrays and strings in the test but it was um, not like an easy kind of arrays and strings it was very um, kind of twisted and you had to use different kinds of approaches to solve those problems did you remember something like to be more exactly kya tha questions mein? So, uh, accurately to yaad nahi hai, but I remember that in the first interview it was uh, I think trees it was some trees and basically I, I think I had to find uh, not sure what it was but it was something related to finding like working around the leaves in a tree and we had to do some processing with the leaves i'm not exactly sure what was there and then um in the second interview it was basically this question where you had a certain format it was a pattern and you had to use the code to interpret that pattern and kind of convert it into a regular string so sort of like string manipulation okay and you said the uh, core subject questions were also asked so yeah so um what did they ask me so they asked me uh what are red black trees which i didn't know at that time so i told them i don't know and that's okay um other than that they also asked me about uh, tcp the layers in it as well as the osi model and they also asked me the difference between them they asked me OOP concepts like uh, polymorphism those basic concepts so yeah mainly that so was there any eligibility criteria about gpa or anything you would suggest uh, to put in resume or stuff like that yeah so for the internship um they had um a cutoff of i think around seven but i would still recommend that you keep it above 8.5 just in case they make a merit list uh, based on cgpa but yeah theirs was a seven cgpa cutoff and i think you after that everyone above seven was allowed to give the test and um, also no active backlogs and uh, then from the test they would then shortlist you so the test was actually a lot more important than the cgpa criteria any resume or project tips mm -hmm. right so um when it comes to projects 
always go for quality over quantity so you don't need five six projects in different tech stacks just make one or two but make very good projects so how can you make them very good so the first thing that you can do is uh, use tech stacks that are in demand so for example the mern stack ml ai stuff like that the second thing you can do is make the concept of your project very interesting so either come up with a unique idea but if you can't do that that's actually very difficult to do coming up with a unique idea but um other than that you can also make clones but make sure that when you're making the clones add some twist to the clone so for example agar netflix ka clone bana rahe ho okay so don't just copy the whole thing as it is so change it be like okay you know they don't have this feature or maybe if this could be improved and then make your you can say as such an improved clone so so projects like that can really help you then um coming to your resume so yeah as i said only add like one or two of your strongest projects you don't need a lot then other than that um i would also suggest that don't write sentences in your resume keep short phrases and even in those phrases what you can do is you can highlight certain words so for example if you have a project that uses say it's an android app right and um, you use certain technologies right so for example you could use react native you could use android studio so you want to highlight that make android studio or react native bold and if you achieved say suppose you released it and you got downloads for that app so you can highlight also that okay 500 plus downloads so if you make that particular thing bold it's easier to bring the uh, their attention to that thing and it's easier for you to then get selected um another thing is make sure you have different sections so keep projects in different sections if you've already done an internship you can add internship in a different section and definitely have a select uh, sorry de- definitely have a section for um, um extracurricular and co-curricular so hackathons or say if you participated in some college event it could even be not related to tech that is also fine but the reason why you should add this is because it gives them an idea about your soft skills like how much is this person ready to collaborate have they worked in teams before stuff like that so don't be hesitant to write about those things so resources and resources and platforms you use <clears throat> for your preparation hmm. so i think we can all agree that everyone studies from youtube right <laughs> so youtube is going to be um very helpful and uh, other than that um so youtube what you can do is you can look at theory concepts from youtube and there are a lot of good um, crash courses from um, my personal favorite is free code camp so they have like a dynamic programming video they have uh, mern stack courses stuff like that so you can look at that uh it's called freecodecamp.org they also have a website um then other than that um for theory you can also refer to gfc they have mcq quizzes as well so you can test out your concepts and then for the actual coding what you can do is i my personal favorite is eat code i feel like they have a very good variety of questions and they have really hard questions as well but if lead code is a little bit tough then you can start with uh, hacker rank or gfg and then move on to lead code you can also use um a dsa sheet so i actually found out about a dsa sheet too late but um so that you guys don't make that mistake i can help you so lead code has around like over 2000 questions right and you can't do that if you are in a time crunch so what you can do is use a dsa sheet um so the one i used was from this uh, youtube channel called uh, love babbar i will send it to you guys um it basically has um 450 questions and if you do that then stacks queues trees dynamic programming you're all set so i would say first do that and then you know you can do extra on lead code We are having our internship sale uh, session. मतलब 
चालू होने वाला है फ्रॉम सेप्टेम्बर सो एनी एडवाइस यू वुड गिव अस फ्रॉम यू राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैनेज योर टाइम प्रॉपरली बिकॉज यू ऑलरेडी हैव लेस टाइम सो यू डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू वेस्ट इट ओके सो माई एडवाइस in an order to like you need projects right you also need to make sure that your coding is strong you also need to make sure that your core cs is strong so i would say do projects and core cs subjects for so that you have a lot of time left for just coding okay and um, make sure that you like you don't need to do everything keep that in mind like you don't need to do every topic in detail so for example graphs it's very rare that they are going to ask you a coding question on graph so just maybe you should know cross curl you should know traversal all of that in theory but or and you should be able to explain it but you don't need to know how to code it similarly even in dsa oop os you don't need to know every topic and you don't need to know it in detail just the main few topics that pretty much every interviewer asks if you know those very well you'll be fine so don't waste your time trying to dive very deep into a subject so that is one mistake that i did <laughs> so don't do that um yeah and like one week before your interview you can stop your coding and just quickly revise your theory subjects see what you did in your project so that if they ask you about your projects you can tell them um also don't be afraid to apply off campus okay a lot of people will not apply off campus and they'll wait for um all of the companies to go and then they'll be like okay maybe we should start applying off campus so don't do that try to apply off campus even when company coming on campus especially now because like there's a recession and everything so don't hesitate and uh, when you do apply off campus make sure that your resume is just a one page resume make it minimalist it should not have a lot of colors not a lot of designs okay simple font and yeah you should be fine so thank you so much and all the best for your future endeavors all the best